Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we've had uh, an incredible amount of rain this fall so far. Last night we must have got another inch or more because, uh, yeah, this stream was flowing yesterday, but it's uh, almost overflowing its banks. And uh, at this time of the year normally, uh, there might not be even any water running through here hardly. So, so it's been an incredibly wet fall, which isn't ideal for uh, harvesting soybeans and that sort of thing. Nor is it ideal for your pastures. But uh, we're not complaining. We know that uh, lots of people had drought this year and didn't get any hay and that sort of thing. And we just took a fourth cut. Fourth cut was uh, something that we never really get around here. So this has been an amazing growing year for us. So let's keep going here and we'll go check on uh, the sheep that are on pasture. So once we're done shearing the sheep that are in the barn, we're actually planning to do that in a few minutes. I've got Jerry and uh, he's got another guy coming who's also quite experienced. I guess they don't want to rely on me yet. I mean, yeah, I might have done okay for a first time, but I'm uh, far from proficient at shearing. So I'm happy that he's bringing another guy. They can get stuff done really quickly. We've got about 100 left to shear in the barn and uh, I'll show you a bit of that in a minute. And next week, hopefully, we'll get all the ones that are here on pasture cleaned up. They're looking pretty shaggy. And uh, it'll be nice to get them all cleaned up for uh, winter. So we'll uh, let's head back to the barn and we'll show you what's going on with shearing. Alright guys, so we finished up uh, shearing for the day. We sheared about 140 in total and uh, they made pretty short work of that. I think it took about, uh, what, 9 o'clock till about 1 o'clock, so about 4 hours. And uh, we did uh, all these ewes which we hope to breed starting in November. And uh, they're looking all in great shape. So these ones currently aren't pregnant or anything like that. Um, same scenario with this group right here. So these were the ones that lambed in May and uh, we hope to get bred along with the breeding group which I just showed you here. And then we've got our 65 ewe lambs that we've retained from our own flock this, this year which is also going to form part of that breeding group. And uh, we have one other group. And they're the ones that are May born ewe lambs, which are for sale for breeding stock. We also sheared them up so that they would be nicely cleaned up for winter. And uh, really happy with the way these ones are looking so far. They're so nice and white and clean right now. And uh, 
really pleased with the way they've uh, been taking shape so far and uh, now all we got to do is find a customer to sell them to because as tempting as it is to keep them for our own flock uh, we are already keeping 65 um, in that group I just showed you and uh, we don't want to grow too much too fast in one year um, I think right now we're sitting at around 300 ewes and uh, that'll be enough I think for, for right now uh, we have plans to grow more but uh, we got to make sure we have the infrastructure somewhere to house them properly through the winter all that stuff in place before we get too carried away so anyways it's nice to get all of these done um, the plan is to also take the hundred and I think there's about hundred good hundred and fifty on pasture they've been getting bread to lamb this coming January February and uh, we got to get them all sheared up yet so these ones will probably move outdoors or at least a good part of these and uh, then we'll be moving those indoors next week so that's where we're at right now and uh, yeah it's been a busy day we just got to get a few things here cleaned up we got to disassemble our handling system for now the sheep are always super curious so they always got to take a look at something new in their pen so these here are the ram lambs from our may lambing and we're hoping to select at least one or two out of this group that would be uh, top-notch rams for selling as breeding stock so that's something we got to do yet as well so we still got lots to do going forward but uh, things are we're getting stuff done and uh, slowly working our way to getting everything ready for winter uh, won't be long well we probably still got a month or two of pasturing sheep and uh, then we'll be looking at uh, installing perhaps a permanent paddock outside here where we can house sheep through the winter and uh, I don't know we'll see how that all looks yet but uh, for now this is where things are at so thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch up again in the next one